Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about JavaScript sliders. It is one of these topic which I really wanted to make video long time ago because I have been searching for the best JavaScript slider that perform really fast and when I use it, it is easy to use on every project. And I did a lot of research on that because I am like too focused on e-commerce website. Performance is the first like uh, the priority for me, like if I'm designing the website, I make sure it is performing and it's loading the fastest time possible. And sliders are very important in an e-commerce website. You have a gallery, you have product slider, and you use it on different places. So after a lot of research, I found some like nice JavaScript slider and some worse one. Uh, I, I end up creating my own and I end up like using a pure CSS slider also. So in this video, I'll share all of my experience. You will understand why you do need some of those JavaScript slider and some of them are just extra. Why not just use pure CSS and simple JavaScript to create them? And uh, how like how about like some popular website like Amazon, they are creating their own. That is because they want the fast performance website. So let's start. The first thing I have to note is like, uh, I came across this article on on this medium website and it talk about the performance of most of this popular slider i have used all of them like heavily because some of our clients are were using them so if i scroll down a little bit it has this top performing for example it has this slick slider which is the most popular slider i will talk about the more owl carousel it is uh, also popular, but since this is outdated, a lot of people do not use it. Flickety, Keen, Glide, and much more. Like I can go through the list and there is a lot. Uh, like Swiper uh, is Splite, which you might not know about this, Glide.js, and a lot of uh, other one. The only problem with some of them are either they have a lot of JavaScript or they are not dependency free. For example, Slick is the best one. It has all the feature you need. Like it has this vertical slider, mobile slider, you can um, just display it on desktop and display it only on mobile. And they have loop and a lot of cool features, like you don't miss anything. The only problem is it requires you jQuery. In 2022, jQuery is not, I, I think, the right thing to use. And that's why a lot of people do not use Slick. And Owl is like, it is out of date. It, there's not, they are not going to maintain it anymore. Flickety is great. It is dependency free, but it is not free itself. You have to buy it if you wanna purchase it, if you wanna use it on production or any uh, paid or commercial uh, projects. It is not very expensive, but this is great. The only thing it is missing is this uh, vertical slider, which is also not a bad thing. Keen, on the other hand, I have been using it in the past one year for some of my client, from the previous version to this version. The only thing, if I go to the website of Keen, now this is the fresh new website. The only thing you have to understand here is it does not come with a lot of feature out of the box. But the good thing is it is very fast compared to Flickety, like Swiper, uh, any other JavaScript like uh, uh, slider. It is very fast because it rely a lot on um, CSS and this JavaScript API so you can use this slider. It is not relying on the old JavaScript style of using CSS animation and a lot of things. That's why it is very fast and if you want to use it, it requires you to understand a lot of JavaScript for extended feature. For example, if you want to use a vertical slider, if you want to use a loop, if you want to have a thumbnail or navigation, those feature does not come out of the box, but they have an example of how you can add it in your next project. They have example for React and Vue also, version 3, which you can check it out, but it is very fast compared to other sliders. Still, it requires JavaScript, okay? And when, when I said like libraries, they have some code that it will run and it will slow down a little bit if you are using uh, Google uh, Lighthouse for testing. So it will is like slow down the website a little bit. Coming to this article, one thing I noticed like the guy who wrote this article also did some performance check. This is this is not the whole website. This is just a slider it's on a website, and this is how it performed. Not none of the website with all the component, all the apps, all the 
the libraries will perform like this but here is the thing if you are using one of these slider you check this yellow and this is the scripting time and the this purple one is the rendering time you see like a lot of time is spent on running the scripts and the execution of those script and that is taking a lot of time now if you are familiar with drift tool on chrome it gives you a lot of insight for the performance you can see like most of like the system is basically zero millisecond loading is like one millisecond rendering and scripting is taking most of the time so if we remove a lot of those javascript and use the pure concept of css and javascript it is much better we can like literally create our own javascript slider using pure css or if you want some advanced tweaking you can add some javascript to that and you can make it work at the end of this article they also mention uh, how you can create a javascript slider let me quickly go to the end this is just a simple css this is the whole CSS unit for the slider, but it only work on mobile. It only add the swipe. So I put together like a little bit of coding in here. I put it like I made it shorter. Instead of grid, I use flex because flex is the best thing you can use in a slider. So this is for the wrapper. We call it let's say gallery, and this will be the child. And this is all we need. The only thing in here that you need is overflow should be hot like auto and the scroll snap type should be x mandatory means from the x direction it is mandatory means uh, people cannot stop in the middle and i'm going to show you how if i open this in the default browser in here let's check it out currently it is not for desktop just for mobile now you can check it out like this this is basically a slider and this is how people use it and it does not have any javascript at all and this is how it works. Like you cannot stop it in here. Now, if you want to add some like more functionality of an arrow, click on next and previous or some dots for navigation. You can do that with JavaScript. Let me show you one uh, code pen. This is the the pen on code pen. This is also a pure JavaScript with infinite infinite like slider. You see, uh, if you click on this. This is how it works and it has like a little of css in here not a lot of css only a hundred lines this is not too much and also a hundred line of javascript the good thing is it also have this swipe option and it works on desktop and mobile and to be honest in most cases this is all you need you don't need to like make a lot of like different complex slider if you ever need that you can use one of those libraries and you can let your client know that if you really want this feature it will impact the performance of the website that is like how it works right so at the end of the video i just want to say like there are some technologies that like literally you can use like pure like a few line of javascript like if i create this slider in javascript it might take some time to do that but yeah it will be another video but for now you understand how easy it is to create your own slider now the performance on them like you can literally come here go to the network go to the lighthouse and you can check this okay because two of them are open in here we cannot normally do that also this is not http so it is not running on a server that's why i cannot test it but if it is it will be a hundred percent like performing and there will not be like there will be like zero blocking or any other uh, performance thing or executing javascript or any other thing so yeah that's for this video i hope this video has been informative and you understand how this javascript slider works and how you can replace them with your own custom css or some custom javascript slider thank you for watching i will see you in the next video